Good afternoon, honored guests. My name is Lynn Ojeda, and I've had the honor of serving as principal of Plano ISD Academy High School for five years now. I've also had the honor of seeing your learner grow exponentially over the last four years, and it is such a privilege to welcome you and to gather with you as we celebrate this momentous occasion. We have several Academy leaders that will help serve as Master of Ceremonies today. Our music accompanist for this afternoon is Mr. Jim Wilson. Please stay seated as he plays Pomp and Circumstance for the processional so that all guests will be able to see and take pictures of their graduates walking into the auditorium. Thank you.
Welcome Academy Class of 2019 graduates. I am so proud of each and every one of you and the legacy that you leave at our school. Graduation is one of my favorite ceremonies to be a part of because we get to reflect on and celebrate all of the learning and hard work you have put in to earning your diploma. More importantly, all of that learning and hard work has empowered you to collaborate and in compete in a rapidly changing world that awaits you. I believe I can speak for all of us when uh, I say today we are so excited to see what's next for each of you. At this time, I invite Cody and Neil to this, Cody Leonard and Neil Pye up to the stage to lead us in the United States and Texas pledges. Good afternoon. My name is Neil Pye, and I'm the co-captain of Solar Car. And I'm Cody Leonard. I'm also the co-captain of Solar Car. We are honored to be the first learners to congratulate the 2019 class of Academy High School. Please stand as you are able and join me in saying the Pledge of Allegiance, the Texas Pledge, pledge and observing a moment of silence. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to thee, Texas, one state under God, one and indivisible. Please observe a moment of silence. Thank you. Thank you, Neil and Cody. I've recently watched a, a video based on a book uh, by author Brene Brown, and the book is called Daring Greatly. And in it, Ms. Brown shares a quote by President Teddy Roosevelt that states, vulnerability is choosing courage over comfort. The author explains that you can have courage or you can have comfort, but you can't have both, not at the same time anyway. This really resonated with me and made me reflect on what our learners do at Academy every day. You show up every day, you show up and you choose courage over comfort. In fact, that sentiment is reflected in our Academy class pledge, which is embarking on a new journey, we have charged into the unknown Determined and confident in our resolve, purposed and enlightened, we pledge to withstand trials, to accept failure, to reach beyond boundaries, to innovate in our world, to leave a legacy. We've gathered here this afternoon to observe and engage in the celebration of every single one of you. You are bright and talented and promising young men and women. You've met many challenges with grace and pushed yourself beyond what you thought you were capable of. And I congratulate each of you on your perseverance. Thank you to every one of you for the ways you have given back to our campus and our community. You have helped shape the tradition of Academy High School, you have helped establish our culture, and you have made us all proud. Thank you. Now I would like to introduce you to Plano ISD Board of Trustees members who are present today our superintendent and her cabinet. Please stand and be recognized when I announce your name. Nancy Humphrey, board secretary. <laughs> Angela Powell, trustee. <laughs> Cody Weaver, newly elected trustee. <laughs> Welcome to your first official graduation. Um, <laughs> Missy Bender, President, Dr. Yoram Solomon, Vice President, Jerry Chambers, Trustee, Tammy Richards, Trustee, and David Stolle, Trustee, send their regrets as they were unable to join us today. We are also joined by our superintendent and their cabinet, Sarah Bonzer, Superintendent of Schools. 
Dr. Teresa Williams, Chief Operating Officer. Randy McDowell, Chief Financial Officer. Dr. Katrina Hasley, Assistant Superintendent of Academic Services. Susan Modisette, Assistant Superintendent of Campus Services. Dr. Carrie Cooper, Assistant Superintendent of District Services. Dr. Beth Brockman, Assistant Superintendent of Employee Services. Carla Oliver, Assistant Superintendent of Government, Community, and Planning Initiatives. Dan Armstrong, a super, Assistant Superintendent, Superintendent of Technology Services. Dr. Dash Wirasinga, Senior Executive Director for Assessment, Research, and Program Evaluation. On behalf of the Academy High School community, please join me once again in recognizing these individuals for their continuous support of all of our learners at Plano ISD Academy High School. At this time, I ask for the Academy staff to stand and be recognized for their dedication and contribution to Academy High School and all of our learners. Thank you. Thank you. Now I would like to introduce you to the 2019 senior class representative, Jeremy Title. <laughs> Hello friends, family, facilitators, and of course the Plano Academy High School graduating class of 2019. My name is Jeremy Tatel, and I'm here to represent the senior class of 2019. When I was asked to give a speech, I wanted to talk about something that every student could relate to. Finding something that would resonate with 96 teenagers is really, really difficult. This is where my search began. Since not everyone was involved in robotics, ultimate frisbee, student council, national honor society, open mic night, or the countless other activities offered at the academy, that was out. With so many fellow classmates interested in everything from education to politics to finances, finance, talking about a STEM field wasn't a common denominator either. Every person isn't an introvert or vice versa, and I know I'm the only one that could break their hand on a fan, and I did it. And just like my hand and that fan, I was stuck. After trying to find the affinity of our class for upward of many hours, I sat in my office and did what almost all teenagers have done before. I took a break and I watched Netflix. <laughs> and in that moment, I realized something that connected our entire graduating class, watching TV and Netflix. Yeah, I said that. All the Academy graduates have at one point sat down and enjoyed a good television show. During my senior year, I'd often go back to The Office, if any of y'all have seen it. If you haven't seen it, the office revolves around a paper company and the daily hijinks that persist in the workspace. The show has everything. Humor, an office romance, a terrible boss, and yes, even paper. The finale of the show is really the inspiration of the speech. After 200 episodes, the, the entire office was about to be sent off when former paper salesman and Cornell grad Andy Bernard said something with a remarkable impact of past authors, historical figures, and scientists. As all the employees on the shows were beginning to go their separate ways and begin new, exciting lives, much as we are about to do right now, he just described his feelings. He didn't use any big words or elaborate metaphors. He just spoke. I wish there was a way to know you're in the good old days before you actually left them. I remember when I watched this episode and heard the line around a month ago, my eyes started to water. Not because the show is over or any connection with the characters, uh, but due to the parallels of all of us moving on just as they do within the show. To me, this completely captures the feeling of graduation. This is our season finale. This is the end of one great show, but the beginning 
to hundreds of new spin-offs. Going to college, getting our first real job, paying taxes, and more all on the horizon, just as this season of our lives and our, and our episodes at the Academy are over. This quote, doesn't, this quote doesn't just remind me of a great television show, but really how to look at the present. Throughout my entire high school career, I was always looking forward to the next stage in my life. What career path do I want to go into? The test prep that I needed, or the college application process. All these things made me focus my time towards the future. I always took each moment for granted, whether it was presenting to PepsiCo and Southwest Airlines, or the daily Foursquare games outside. I never knew that, that my time in high school could become those good old days, just like Andy said. As people, we often look towards the future, or back at the past, while taking these good old days for granted. The countless number of times I've been on social media, and I've seen a full concert recorded rather than enjoyed, shows this to be true. People often want to remember these memories, and sometimes this gets in the way of living in the moment. Andy explains that he wishes he knew he was in the good old days before he left them. As we move forward, move toward the next season in our lives, it will always be, be hard to know if these are the best of times. But no matter where you are, make sure to stay in the moment and make sure you don't let these good old days go without remembrance. To my fellow classmates, thanks for being part of all these special memories. Make sure to enjoy, or make sure to be present as you celebrate today. Best of luck and enjoy the rest of your good old days. Thank you. Another parallel between uh, The Office and The Academy is that we were almost always being recorded so we could look back and remember these good old days. PISD's creative media director, Jonathan Miller, and several students have been working on a video to show off our four years at the Academy. Enjoy the episode.
country to represent you. Southwest Airlines. This one was from last summer. Overall, it was a really enriching experience. I learned a lot about how such a time-sensitive environment such as the airport works. The summer before that, I got to work with the Plano ISD Communications Department, which was awesome. I'm making affordable 3D printed bionic prosthetics for my capstone project at the Academy High School. I'm an amputee myself and getting prosthetics, especially functional ones such as like bionic prosthetics, it's really difficult because they cost anywhere from $30,000 to $80,000. I looked to 3D printing and consumer grade technology in order to create a prosthetic that costs only about $60 in, in parts. These bionic prosthetics work through a process called electromyography. So when I flex my muscle, I can control the servo, which in turn opens and closes the hand. I'm releasing all the, the 3D models, the code, and the, the parts list online for free as an open source project, so anyone can make this for just the cost of parts. Being able to have that close relationship with all my teachers. Like they were friends, like it was just a really close-knit community and so that's something that I'm really gonna miss next year. I'm very sad to leave but it has been a great experience. There are so many things that make this school special to me and honestly I have no words to describe it. But Genius Rappers, Omega Herobrine, T. Rich, Chin Mayo, and Elo created a rap about the school and it went like this. This school has a learning space, which is the perfect place to get work done and to innovate. Ms. Ojeda and Ms. Gashin and Ms. Barrar were always so incredibly helpful with allowing me to utilize the equipment this school had. I think that I've been able to create such higher quality products because of the Academy and I am very grateful. I'd like to thank my friends. You've all made the last four years wonderful. 
the project and the facilitators and even my friends at the Academy have really given me the opportunities to take those next steps and to, you know, develop myself further. This past year we were able to go from winning a competition to going to state finals and making it to Worlds again where we competed against some of the best teams in the world. I'm going to miss it. I'm going to miss the people. I'm going to miss the teachers. I'm going to miss the building. It's a mix of feelings. I'm excited, anxious, but I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I'm excited to graduate. I'm ready for the challenge that awaits right over the horizon of summer. Well, Mr. Miller, I wasn't supposed to start crying until a little bit later this afternoon. Um, thank you for capturing the magic, the wonder, the beauty of our children, the amazing intellect and creativity and talent that they all share, and for capturing the fact that you really are graduates, one big family. I'm so very proud of you. And to be able to watch that and share that with other people is it's just a wonderful experience to see others watching you in the way that we see you every day. Congratulations. And Jeremy, thank you for your heartwarming and humorous speech. Um, the video is such a wonderful tribute to a truly awesome group of learners who've amazed me every day. One of these amazing learners rose to the top of her class, and I'm sure her family and friends are as proud as, of her as I am. Please welcome our 2019 valedictorian, Maddie McKenzie. My name is Maddie McKenzie, and on the behalf of class of 2019, I would like to welcome administrators, teachers, faculty, friends, family, and all of my fellow graduates. Class of 2019, the day we have been working towards is finally upon us. We are graduating high school and embarking on the next phase of our lives. We have much to be thankful for. Over the past four years here at the Plano ISD Academy High School, we have had the opportunity to be a part of something incredibly unique. Our high school experience was like no other, and for that, we should be incredibly grateful. We are all able to take something away from the Academy that is personal to each and every one of us. Through project-based learning, numerous group projects, and presentations to industry professionals, we have skills that will make us stand out for the rest of our lives. Because of these skills unique to Academy graduates, we are prepared to take on any adventures and challenges we face. Now, I know that despite being excited for what's coming next, deep down, there's a part in every one of us that is nervous and scared. I know for sure that I am one of those people. I know where I'm gonna go to school, what I'm gonna study, and who I'm gonna live with, but I don't know what my classes will be like, how my career will grow, and who I will become as a person. Despite this feeling of uncertainty, we are far more prepared than we know, and we really have grown. I want you to think about how far we have come, individually and as a class. Looking back on freshman year, it's almost as if it was yesterday. There was orientation, the first time we visited our school and met one another. The very first group project when we launched paper airplanes off the balcony. The first time Mr. Bailey told us to go to work and pay the bills. Throughout all of these experiences, we have grown mentally and physically. 
Just look at Jeremy. He hasn't stopped growing and probably won't until he's eight feet tall. The class of 2019 has been outstanding and extraordinarily successful. In our years here at the Academy, we have participated in over 25 clubs. Each of us have given 14 presentations. We have volunteered thousands of hours of our time and received over $1.5 million in scholarship money. Yet our high school careers were no walk in the park. We were presented with many challenges and obstacles that we had to overcome. Differing ideas between group members, studying for the ACT and SAT, or even making a slideshow the night before a presentation. Every student sitting in the audience today has experienced their fair share of disappointment and defeat. And despite things not going the way as planned, every single one of us was resilient and persistent. The fact that we made it here is a testament to our determination and commitment to excellence. Every one of us has the potential to change the world and become influential individuals. The uncertainties you face are just opportunities in disguise, so don't take them for granted. The past four years together have equipped us with the knowledge and skills necessary to succeed, and now we can go wherever we want, do whatever we want, and become whoever we want. As we part ways, remember that although we all have different passions and interests, we will always have our experiences at the Academy in common. I cannot wait to see all the amazing things we do in the future. Congratulations, class of 2019. Thank you, Maddie, for your outstanding leadership. I want to thank the class of 2019 for contributing and growing the traditions and culture of our school that will last for generations to come and make one proud to be a Titan. Academy High School learners know how to take care of each other, how to take care of themselves, and how to take care of their school. All of our seniors are graduating on the Distinguished Graduation Plan with both the multidisciplinary and STEM endorsements. Please look at the program to see distinction among some of our outstanding seniors graduating summa cum laude, magna cum laude, and cum laude. We also have some seniors wearing special cords from various organizations that they have joined and been an active part of over the last four years. And now for what you've all been waiting for. Ms. Bonser and members of the Plano Independent School District Board of Trustees, I am pleased to announce that the learners seated before you have all met <coughs> all state and local requirements to participate in this ceremony as prescribed by the Plano Independent School District Board of Education and the Texas Education Agency. I now hereby declare <coughs> each graduate worthy of the high school diploma from Plano ISD's Academy High School. 2019 graduates, we are all very proud of you. We will miss you while you're away, but you will always be a member of the Academy Titan family. You found the right place for your high school education, and now you will find your place in the world. Thank you for leaving a legacy to be proud of. It is my honor to welcome you to the stage to be recognized for your achievement. The introduction of graduates will be made by one of our cherished facilitators, Michael Hardy. The presentation of the diploma will be made by our Board of Trustees Secretary, Nancy Humphrey, Assistant Principal, Kathy Gashin, Superintendent of Schools, Ms. Sarah Bonzer, and I, Lynn Ojeda, Plano ISD Academy High School, 2000 graduating class. Please come forward to receive your diploma. Viva Ayagari. George Dieter Alvarez.
Jasmine Baltazar Madrano. Samuel William Batista. Sean Sandeep Bandari. Evelyn Ann Blackman. Rachel Grace Blumen. John Keith Brubaker. Mark Morris Brubaker. Catherine Tundi Kalajas. Elon Dolores Camp. Santiago Cano. Ethan Chow. Savannah Lee Cole. Kennedy Sierra Cook. Catherine Brianna Crow. Dylan Andrew Darvo. Alex William Deckelbaum. Janet Juliet Diaz de Soyano. Shravan Divakarla. Om Dodia. Katarina Elise Durkanska. Rebecca Marie Etheridge. Alexandra Marie Flores. Victor Alexander Gonzalez. Andrew Wallace Goodman. Courtney Nicole Grope. Zachary Bradley Hammonds. William Matthew Helterbrand. Vibhavi Himasunder. Guadalupe Arisbeth Hernandez. Guadalupe Lisbeth Hernandez. Michael Way Higley. Jennifer Marie Holcomb. Drake Andrew Huckaba. Garrett Nicholas Evgeny Hunk. Chinmaya Sharish Joshi. Gregory Kellmeyer. Kellmeyer. 
Catherine Marie Kellmeyer. Syed Sadid Cotter. Yaya Abu Bakr Khan. Takaru William Kitagawa Barnes. Jared John Lenick. Cody Hudson Leonard. Emilio Alberto Luesa. Alex Cole Lamonaco. Catherine Elizabeth MacArthur. Callie Elizabeth Marsh. Maxwell Alexander Mata. Megan Elizabeth McAdams. Hunter Blake McCann. Madeline Olivia McKenzie. Sierra Marie McMillan. Elizabeth Bell Mendoza. Darian Angela Jean Manella Warner. Zachary Joel Mix. Daniel Bennett Morrison. Zachariah Bilal Najam. Anna Melissa Nelson. Lauren Grace Normal. David Tuan Ben No. Maverick James O'Brien. Matthew Jason Orsborne. Adriana Kelsey Pavalon. Matthew Zen Pakapak. Nilesh Prakash I. Lindsay Taylor Palsik. Samuel Mark Haley. Viral Hitendra Patel. Evan Lake Earlman. Sabrina Zeta Ragland. Nikita Ramanujam. Nigel Cameron Ramirez. Brianna Jo Richardson.
Tyler Graham Richardson. Shiloh Mark Lee Rome. Eduardo Salazar Jr. Quinn Alexander Sandal. Hayden Michael Sawyer. Cole Mitchell Shockey. Elise Shenlian Skelton. Shubhra Shravastava. Chase Alexander Stockwell. Beck Andrew Sutherland. Jeremy Stephen Tatel. Justice Alan Tam. Jaden Elise Diane Thomas. Luke Vela. Aaron Michelle Wanick. Nicholas James Wharton. Samuel Peter Wilner. Ryan Jeffrey Wise. London Alyssa Woodward. Congratulations again, graduates. I would now like to introduce our wonderful salutatorian, Katka Durkanska. Good afternoon, everyone. That was very exciting. My name is Katka Durkanska. I hope you've enjoyed the ceremony so far. Rest assured, I'm one of the last ones to speak, so you'll soon be on your way to take pictures and enjoy dinner with your loved ones. As some of you may know, it is traditionally the responsibility of the valedictorian to speak about the future, while it's the job of the salutatorian to reflect on the past. And boy, have we had a crazy last four years. But before I share some of my favorite memories with you, I'd like to once again express a huge amount of gratitude for all of the people who made our high school experience possible. On behalf of all the students, I want to thank everyone sitting out in the auditorium today. It's because of you that we have reached this milestone of our lives. Thank you to our parents and families who have supported us through thick and thin. Thank you to the administration who have fought tirelessly for us and for the success of the school. Thank you to the district for making the academy possible. And on behalf of all of us, thank you to the facilitators who have formed relationships with formed relationships with us, worked harder than any other teachers we've ever had, and changed our lives forever. My last thank you is a little more unconventional. Thank you to us, to the students. We have worked hard to be where we are today, and I think we deserve a huge pat on the back. I am so grateful to have spent the last four years with each and every one of you. We are a family, 
Over the last four years, we've worked together, laughed together, competed together. And sure, we've all made closer friends with certain people, but the beauty of our school is that every individual has impacted our collective experience. I remember when we started this journey in eighth grade, none of us knew what we were getting into. For crying out loud, we thought we were going to get Stir Fry Friday every week. In eighth grade, when most of us didn't know each other, we didn't go to the same schools, hadn't shared any memories, we all had one thing in common. We were brave enough to take a leap of faith and come to the academy. Because we all know that although we weren't the first, second, or even third graduating class, we were still guinea pigs. Then, in our first year, we started to get to know each other and the crazy environment we found ourselves in. In our first project, we gave tours of the school that would soon become our second home. We all remember when Andrew built a whole aquarium ecosystem that one-upped our little tiny model homes. We remember Yegzer making his music on the Macs and Jeremy playing Donald Trump. And most importantly, we definitely remember the week in physics where we learned about plants, only to find out later that Mr. Hardy is secretly a biology teacher. As we grew older, it felt like the time flew by even faster. In second year, we built submarines, programmed games, and solved mysteries. RRCC had 10 names, but never was it really called Really, Really Cold Case. In Quantum Leap, Mark Brubaker probably helped every single one of us make our games. And we all remember looking out the window and watching Corner Bakery burn down right before we had the freedom of off-campus lunch. <laughs> Then, in third year, we were upperclassmen, and all of a sudden, in pep rallies, we got to sit in the orange chairs instead of on the ground. How exciting. We grew up, we wrote resumes, completed internships, and learned from Mr. Wright that adulting is very expensive. Canvas became Empower. Mr. Wright became Mr. Wrongington, and Sean never gave us his pizza party. And finally, we hit fourth year, where we all watched Nigel become super ripped as he trained to join the Air Force. Um, Ms. Paquette helped us complete some amazing capstone projects. Mrs. Pinder refilled her candy jar every day. And Mr. Weaver showed us a real world example of why developers hate themselves in Mars Attack. So now, we've made full circle. Almost exactly four years ago, we were about to embark on an unknown journey. We were excited, eager, optimistic, but also perhaps scared, anxious, apprehensive. But now here we are, we've made it. And once again, we find ourselves feeling those emotions about what's ahead. But know this, we are a group of 96 individuals who have had a high school experience like no other. We are unique and equipped to take on our futures. I am so excited for all of us as we stand here together today. As you go out into the world, don't forget to treasure the memories and the opportunities that the Academy has given you. Use the experiences you've had here to pave your own path. I can't wait to hear it when we meet again. Thank you. Now, please welcome Viva to the stage. Viva Ayagari. Thank you. <laughs> Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Viva Ayagari, and I have the honor of being the president of the Plano Academy chapter of the National Honor Society. Our four-year high school journey has been nothing short of remarkable, but none of us would have survived to this point if it weren't for certain people. Behind every Titan, there is a support system, whether that be a, si a sibling, a parent, or even a friend who is so close that they have become family. Each of us had someone to guide us and help us through high throughout high school. So on behalf of the Academy High School Class of 2019, I would like to thank all of the families here today. Thank you for supporting us.
For the past 18 years, our families have helped us with everything from teaching us to tie our shoes to helping us do our taxes for the first time. This is why we are grateful for our families. Each and every one of us would not be the person sitting before you today if it was not for our support system. But as we move into the future, we will no longer have them to hold our hand. So for now, thank you, for, thank you to all of the families behind every Titan. We appreciate all the hard work you put into our lives so that we could graduate today. And now, because of you, we are ready to take on the world. Now, please welcome Sammy Paley to the stage. Good afternoon. I want to start today by wishing another round of congratulations to my peers, the class of 2019. Congratulations, we made it. Today I have the great honor to speak briefly on behalf of the class of 2019. I want to share a few words of our immense gratitude for our facilitators and all of their hard work in the last four years to get us to this moment right here. Throughout our time with the Academy, a lot has changed, but one thing has remained a constant. The unrelenting support we receive from our facilitators. For me, their support has, felt, has been felt from my first moments in the building. As I reflect on my four years at the Academy, and as I reflect on my experiences and interactions with my facilitators, I realize the unique opportunities we learners are given. Unlike other campuses, at the Academy, we were able to connect and interact with our faculty Outside of, the, outside of the classroom. The design of our school's curriculum allows and encourages students to engage in conversation and discussion with our teachers. Beyond the projects and beyond the seminars and mods, the thing that truly sets the facilitators at our school apart is their ability and willingness to interact and get to know each and every student. This, in my eyes, is what truly makes the facilitators special. These interactions allow for year after year each new group of facilitators to personally invest in their students. These investments have not been lost on me. As a founding member and the president of the Ultimate Frisbee Club, I have been lucky enough to work with one of the finest teachers the Plano Academy has to offer. Mr. Wright, my coach, my teacher, my mentor, I've learned so much from you beyond the world, of our, beyond the world history curriculum. Your unrelenting support beyond the classroom and beyond the Frisbee field has meant so much to me. I can't say it enough. Thank you for investing in me. Thank you for seeing success in me, even in moments when I could not. I know your support in me will continue far beyond the academy. And I know this story is not uncommon. I know many of my classmates have all had similar experiences during their time at the academy. I know my classmates have felt the warmth and care each of our facilitators has for us. The personal investments our facilitators make in us, at least from my experience in PISD, is unique to the Plano Academy. For this, we thank you. Thank you for more than just teaching us. Thank you, facilitators, for all you do. Thank you for putting up with all the annoying things we do, for answering the same question over and over. Thank you for being the ear we complain to. Thank you for staying late and coming in early. Thank you for being there for us when we felt lost. Thank you for making jokes with us and making us laugh. If you were to ask me what I'll miss most about the Plano Academy, I can wholeheartedly say I'll miss the facilitators above anything else. Facilitators, you hold a very special place in our hearts. The impact you all had on our lives is irreplaceable and unforgettable. Again, we truly appreciate everything you have done, not only to help us get to this point, but for the lessons we have learned that will stick with us for the rest of our lives. Thank you. Now help me in welcoming Sean Bandari to the stage. Hello and good afternoon. I'm Sean Bandari, president of Mi Alpha Theta. Titans, our journey together at the Academy may be coming to an end this afternoon, but that is not all that is closing. Our friendships, our memories, our experiences, and our familial bond will preserve for years to come. 
to seal that bond with one another. Please join me and stand in reciting our class pledge. Please stand. <laughs> Embarking on a new journey, we have charged into the unknown, determined and confident in our resolve, purposed and enlightened, we pledge to withstand trials, to accept failure, to reach beyond boundaries, to innovate our world, to leave a legacy. You may be seated. Last year, some of us joined and shared the, in the tradition of receiving class rings. According to addition, prior to graduation, the class ring is worn with the ring emblem facing the learner as a symbol of self-inspiration and determination. Our class turned the ring to this position in our ring ceremony last year, locking the rings together and uniting us as a class committed to graduating together. If you have a ring, Continue with that tradition by turning your ring now with the emblem facing outward as a symbol to go out into the world and inspire and lead others. Thank you. I am humbled by the love and togetherness that is felt in this place this afternoon. As our ceremony comes to a close, I want to remind our guests to please remain seated during the recessional. The staff and graduates will exit the auditorium first, and the graduates will go downstairs to pick up their belongings before meeting you in the lobby. Graduates, there's one more tradition that symbolizes moving from learner to graduate, and it's turning your tassel from the right to the left side of your mortarboard. Please stand and do that now. Move your tassel from right to left. And before you toss that mortarboard in the air, please turn around and face your loved ones. If you can, lay eyes on them. Relish this moment. Family, friends, and guests, join me in congratulating the Academy High School's graduating class of 2019. Graduates, you may throw your cap. Senior facilitators, please lead your graduates out of the auditorium. <laughs> 